Hello everybody, welcome to another VR tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about the Leap Motion, how to connect the Leap Motion to your computer and use it as a VR controller for the PlayStation or HTC Vive controllers. Alright, so last week we did the PlayStation Move controllers and those ended failure for me. Hopefully they ended, or they worked out a little bit better for you guys, but this time we're going to be doing the Leap Motion, which I already have and works a lot better in my opinion and works better for my setup. So what we're going to do is we're going to download the Steam VR driver, uh, driver files. Um, I'll provide the link in the description down below for the website, so you can go there and download these. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to click the Setup EXE right here. It's installing, blah, 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 Valve Corp. Nothing, nothing bad's going to install if you install this, so just install it. Yes, agree to that. And it will install drivers. All done. That's all it takes to install these drivers. But then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to, um, what was it? We're going to need to go to V-Ridge now. I need to go to my V-Ridge folder here. So, let's pull up RiftCat. And after RiftCat loads up. So I prefer the Elite Motion because of one thing, I already had it. So it makes it a little bit easier for me to use. But then, if you guys don't have Elite Motion, the buying brand new price, it's around $70 or $80. Which is really expensive. But, if you go to eBay or um, get it used from Craigslist, you can look at them for, pro I think there are some, I saw some for like $20 to $30. So still on the more expensive side, but a little bit better in terms of what I prefer for performance. So $20, $30 for a used one, but $70 for a brand new one. Pick your poison there, honestly. All right, so now that the Leap Motion is all connected, we have all the quartz connected, we have all the drivers installed, and we have all we have the Leap Motion services active as well. So the Leap Motion controller is on. We're going to gonna click Play Steam VR Games. It's preparing to launch Steam VR, and whenever it pops up, we will have two new controllers all set up for Steam VR, and it's going to be completely awesome. We just got to wait for this all to load up. Okay, right there, you can see in the corner we have the two, right there. We have those two. We have the two controllers, but they're flashing because we don't see anything in them right now. So we're just going to display mirror real quick so we can see everything that's on the screen. And now, there we go. You can see my hand is a leap motion controller. Um, there's different gestures that you can do. Like right now, you can see I'm um, putting my finger as a gun. You can't see right now, but I'm putting my finger as a gun and then pulling the trigger. And then it's making the little trigger button push down. It's really cool. This is just one hand. Let me put the other hand out right there real quick. There's the other one. You can see it just changes. I can't really say how well this works. And like I just moved the headset and it completely moved with the hand. It doesn't matter which way like the leap motion is pointing, as long as it's um, as long as your hands are in there, it's always going to be facing right in front of you. I'm not using move in the headset at all right now, but yeah, you can see this is a whole controller right here that you're using just with your hands. Different uh, different gestures will do different things. I can't remember them all. I'm gonna have to get like a piece of paper to write them all down on, and I also have to like duct tape this thing to my headset whenever I get that done. But yeah, that's pretty much everything how you connect it. I'm going to put this, I'm going to have to hold delete motion in my mouse so I can use both hands real quick, so bear with me. Yeah, there we go. I had to use it in my mouth because I don't have any duct tape to hold the controller on there right now. But I am going to download some tutorials and stuff like that so I can play with the controllers and the VR headsets whenever I get more time. But yeah, this is the VR headset controller tutorial just for the Leap Motion. Um, I like this one a lot more. It works a lot better than the PlayStation Move controller, in my opinion. I was severely disappointed in the in the PlayStation Move controller, honestly. I thought that would work a lot better. I was proven wrong, and I'm sorry for misleading you guys on that one. I thought I honestly did think it would work better. So, yeah. This is the Leap Motion tutorial. I hope it has been an easy and enjoyable tutorial. It was a lot easier to install this than it was any of the other tutorials than any of the other um, VR stuff. Especially that PlayStation Move. I spent a good few hours on that one just trying to figure out how to install everything. But then this one is just so simple. It was so easy just to get this stuff all set up and ready for this Leap Motion. So yeah, it's a little difficult at times depending on your light level, lighting levels around you and trying to get the... It, it's really like all the hand motions. You have to be using the Leap Motion Orion software as well. Um, the Leap Motion is a bit more expensive, but I think it provides a better experience for this. So, yeah, I'm going to let you guys decide on which to use. I prefer this one. I'm going to do be doing a couple VR videos just using the Leap Motion um, the uh, 
this tutorial with this one, or not this tutorial, but this uh, leap motion controller. So, yeah, I love you all. Click the subscribe button if you want to see more. In this next episode, I'm going to actually be going to be testing out the headset and the leap motion together to see how they play together as an actual VR headset rig. So join in next time for that.